Welcome to the first lesson in the transition series. Today we are going to be considering what factors influence how places can change over time. I will go through the key content and then we'll refer to which part of the worksheet, also on MS Teams, you should complete after each piece of information. Let's begin then with the definition of place. It refers both to the human and the physical characteristics of a location. Places are multifaceted. This means complex with lots of elements shaped by shifting flows and connections which change over time. And it's these changes over time that we're going to be looking at in today's lesson. So the first thing I want you to have a look at is this image. Okay, this image should be very familiar to you. How would you describe this place and how do you feel about it? I don't want you to write anything down here. I just want you to have a think about those questions that I've asked you for about a minute or two minutes. you've had to think about how you would feel about that place and I think it's important here for you to recognize that places feel different to different people. What I'd now like you to do is to complete the first task on your worksheet by answering the following questions that are in red. These don't need to be full sentences, they can be bullet pointed answers. So here I'm asking you to think about how does this image of your local area make you feel? Which places in the area do you have positive feelings about? Are there some places in your local area that you feel more attached to and why? And how would you perceive this location as either a 17 year old, a parent or an elderly person? Do you think they'd be the same feelings or not and why? Let's look at a more generic example. Here there are two images on the left of the countryside and on the right of the city. I would like you to think about how would you describe both of these images? Which would you rather live in and why? So on your worksheet, I'd like you to annotate the images with at least five words to describe both types of place. So both urban. And then I'd like you to summarize, would you prefer to live in an urban area or a rural area and why? So places change over time and we're interested in why they change over time. What are the causes of that change over time? The first one is technology and globalisation. Globalisation is the increased global connections. Investment by transnational companies. So a company that is located in more than one country. Investing in a specific place. So this might be somewhere like Canary Wharf or Strat. Regeneration, so taking a place from derelict on the left to renewed on the right. Migration, so the movement of people. I would like you to complete the table on your worksheet to tell me how you think these factors might make a place change. So for example, technology and globalisation. As places become more connected, how might they change? You could argue, as a place becomes more connected, it may become more multicultural, as migrants are attracted to a place. You should now have completed the table. What I would like you to do is, using your completed table, explain how the different factors might influence a place to change. I would like you to tell me which one you think is the most significant and why. Okay, so here there is not a right or wrong answer, it's just which of the five rows do you think has the most significant influence on a place? Try and think about the long term, the short term, who's being affected, how much it might cost, for example. 
So you've just looked at what might cause a place to change. Here is um, the natural um, hazards example. So we have got a story by a lady called Wendy. Okay, it's a real life example of a, somebody who was living in Christchurch in New Zealand during the 2011 earthquake. She lost her home and job as a result of the earthquake. This story shows how places can change as a result of disasters and how people's attachment to certain places can also change. On your worksheet, I would like you to read through the story and summarise how the Christchurch earthquake influenced this person's place attachment. So today we have covered what is meant by place and what can cause change over time that influences people's place attachment. Next lesson we're going to be thinking about why do people have different perceptions of place? What influences their perceptions of place?